Okay, so we have a ton to get through and we have 60 minutes. So let's get started and uh, get on with today's training. Let's go. All right. So thanks for being here again, everyone. We, uh, we want to make this a bit more interesting. So for those that stay through to the end, we have two special gifts that we'll be giving everyone and a bonus for the first three people to take action as a result of today's training. And that bonus is valued at over $3,000. So stick around till the end. I promise you it'll be worth it. Okay. My goal today is simple. It's to inspire you while showing you an easier way to stand out, avoid losing customers to med spas, and ultimately, potentially, how to double your revenue without breaking the bank. Now, we've done this for over 1,500 different small business owners in the beauty and wellness space, and many of them are estheticians just like you, beauty bar owners, lash studio owners, et cetera, that were sick and tired of trying to outrun inflation, deal with the chronic staffing shortages facing the entire industry today, the lackluster product sales, and the endless hair pulling, eye gouging, time consuming facial upsells just to keep the lights on. So I believe that it's time to start playing to win and stop playing to not lose. And today's training is going to show you exactly how to do just that. So ultimately, what I want to do is show you how we helped Elisa go from having $600, literally $600 in her wallet, where she was nearly bankrupt. She couldn't get back to England where she was from to be with her family as the COVID insanity began. And by the way, if you want to hear her story, this story is captured on the Body Beauty Show. Go check that out if you fancy. But I want to show you how we helped her go from $600 to her name to making over $106,000 her first nine months working with us starting with literally no out of pockets. Whoa. Yeah. True story. Check it out. Again, Body Beauty Show has the full interview for you to go listen to. Now, obviously, the theme of today's training is, well, how do I stand out in the crowded field of beauty? And it's hard, right? There's a lot of noise. There's a lot of fake gurus and what have you out there propagating this idea and that idea. Some of those ideas are, well, the hard way. So you could... Continue pushing your product sales for retail that you know that the big evil red button on Amazon is effectively siphoning away from you because it's typically cheaper to buy products online. You could also continue trying to add on these facial upsells, which we all know are really taxing time-wise and very low in terms of return from a revenue perspective. Or lastly, you could keep doing low-cost services, waxing, brow laminations, what have you, which ultimately are a black hole of energy that do not produce the revenue that we all know that you want. And oh, by the way, this is all while watching two-thirds of every dollar you make go out the door to a very short list here, which the real list is much, much longer, as we all know, but taxes, rent, payroll, advertising, paying these agencies, these social media gurus, and inventory, never mind your software to manage your booking system, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So again, how can we stand out in the crowded field of beauty? And that's what we'll be exploring further today. So here's the question. Is it rhetorical? Maybe. But here's the question. What would your life look like if your story was similar to Jill and Chris Johnson's story, where they went from making $62 an hour to a near 4X to $219 an hour. And imagine if further, you were able to actually work on your business, not so much in it where you're in the treatment room, appointment after appointment doing these low revenue generating services where you're disallowed from being able to work, again, on the business because you're so inside of it that you're not able to unlock 
your energy to focus on your creative pursuits, things like working on your branding, your key differentiators, and ultimately things like your customer experience that the day-to-day -day grind of working in the business forces you to do. So the question is, what if you could actually work on the business to start thinking strategically on different ways that you can stand out? So there's something upstream here that we need to be thinking about, and we're about to get into that. So for those of you that do not know what this image is, this is a photo of the statue of David, one of the most marvelous sculptures, at least I have ever seen on the planet. And it was sculpted by Michelangelo, one of the Renaissance men of history. Now, for those of you that don't know the story of how this statue came into being, this statue was or is the product of a massive, 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 massive block of marble that Michelangelo with an instrument was able to bit by bit chip away until he produced the vision that he had in his mind, which was the statue of David. So let's read this quote. I want to plant this in your mind, and then I'll explain why this is here. So here's the quote. I saw the angel in the marble and carved until I set him free. And as you're about to see how this relates, it's quite interesting. Today, actually, excuse me, truthfully, this study was taken from 2014, eight years ago. I can't imagine with the proliferation of social media, Instagram, and all the comparison games we play, that this has done anything but skew upwards in a worse direction in terms of, well, here's a statistic, 91% of women are unhappy with their bodies and resort to dieting to achieve their ideal body shape. Can you see the relation? I'll show you where I'm going. Now, ultimately, you and I both know that there are two angels in your universe, so to speak. Number one are your clients. Your clients are your lifeline, your revenue line, and all the rest of it. And they should be treated as such. And so is your business. But here's the question. How many of your angels that you serve on a day-to-day -day are much like the statue of David hiding inside their marble, their big block of marble, waiting to be set free? Okay, so we've talked about the statue of David. We've talked about the 91% uh, statistic of women feeling unhappy with their body shape. And we're ultimately asking the question of, well, how do I stand out in this crowded field of beauty? What's the answer? How do I do it? How do I interweave all these ideas into one simple, easy answer? Austin, show me the easy button. How do I stand out? I want to know. Mm -hmm. Well, there are several ways. Here's an idea. Technology. Do things that your hands alone cannot do. Because look, the truth is, lotions and potions is yesterday. There's a place for that. Of course, your clients love the lotions and potions. But tomorrow is about technology. And you'll see why here in a moment. So this is what I want everyone to challenge themselves to think about. If this is possibly an answer, we believe it is, the question you should be asking is, what Iron Man suit or Iron Lady suit can I put on, yes, like the Marvel character, the technology suit, to enable me to achieve outcomes like this that I could not achieve if I was just relying on lotions and potions and not using technology, because the truth is these sorts of results that fuel the word of mouth referral engine for your business to bring in more customers so that you don't have to pay these social media agency gurus to have organic traffic, to see your customer base increase, to win over your clients, to have the opportunity to get them in the door, wow them, dazzle them, et cetera from your customer experience, you can't do this and achieve these results without technology. So today I want to introduce you to a new technology that can help you achieve results for not only facials, but other indications as well, like this. And that device is CryoSkin. 
There are two versions of it, but for sake of simplicity and not wanting to focus too much today on the product itself, we're going to just speak to CryoScan categorically today. And joining us on the training today is Victoria. Victoria is a licensed master esthetician who ran her own studio for three years. She's been inside of this industry for years and years. She's going to speak to how she, through the lens of a licensed master esthetician, would incorporate CryoScan and tell you a little bit about the product as well. So with that, I'm going to turn this over to Victoria, and she will spin you up with all the details I mentioned. Awesome. Thank you so much for the introduction, Austin. Um, as he described, I am the subject matter expert um, here at Artemis. And part of uh, my experience was, like I'm sure many of you, where you own a business, you think it gives you the freedom, but the reality is, is you're kind of trapped. You are uh, trapped under the um, clients that you have, the um, responsibilities you have to your employees, if you have any. Um, and then two, you're just maybe not paying yourself um, as much as you really had hoped. So with a, a device like CryoSkin in particular, you can introduce a treatment like the CryoFacial as a uh, modality to both stimulate elastin and collagen productions, firm and tighten, loosen skin. Um, and you're also seeing your clients significantly more frequently. So you're able to talk to them and really introduce other treatments. Um, an example being cryo slimming or cryo toning. Uh, the slimming treatments provide a reduction in adipose tissue at about 20% per treatment. So um, as you build up your relationship with your client, you can very easily say, hey, you know, I got great re results from my um, tummy treatment I just did, and I would love to see how it would work for you. Before you know it, you have packages selling out the door. Um, and at that point too, you're not necessarily having to work inside of your business as much. Um, like an example of myself, I worked eight to 10 hour days, um, taking lash clients back to back and could hardly pay myself. So um, having a device like this would have been the difference between opening uh, my business back up post COVID and actually being uh, profitable. So um, there are, a, a, you know, a huge um, revenue generator. It comes from the single device um, because it is so versatile. There isn't just the, uh, the facial modality. There is also skin tightening um, and that reduction in, in adipose tissue. Um, so as far as treatments go, ways to pair this, we absolutely love this in a standard classic facial. Your clients do tend to feel a little bit more of their um, perception of cold is a little bit higher with this um, being used on your face versus on the body. Um, so we do offer a uh, like a protocol of exactly how to use this in the steps of your your standard classic European European facial. Um, or you can pair it with other modalities, let's say radio frequency, if your state allows, or microneedling, um, you're absolutely able to pair it with things like dermaplaning, or um, we wouldn't suggest things along the lines of chemical peels just to not interact any sort of chemicals, but um, you can alternate between the two. So really addressing uh, all of your client's skin concerns, but completely non-invasively. Awesome. Thanks, Victoria. We uh, appreciate you sharing your thoughts. So let's see a video of CryoScan in action, particularly the cryofacial treatment. So I'm going to play this short video here, and this will give you an idea of how the treatment actually looks. Okay, so there you have it. So that is the device in action for facials. And uh, that said, let's scoot to the next slide. Okay, so in my eyes, the thing that ultimately matters the most are two things, results and revenue. So here we see a swath of different uh, treatments that were performed. 
The top left, we have slimming here. You can see a very dramatic reduction off of his tummy. And that, of course, leads to a reduction in circumference. And this is a cryoslimming procedure. Next door, we see a Tony procedure where the skin laxity was dramatically improved. You can see that in the after photo here, et cetera. To me, the results that stand out the most are these chin slimming results on the decollete and the double chin area um, on the bottom left and the bottom right. So you can see that it is effectively her double chin is almost completely gone as a result of these different chin slimmings. Quite dramatic. The second piece I would want to see is data on actual expected or let's say ballpark average revenue based on actual data. So in this slide here, this shows 100 plus of our partners data over three, a three, a three year span showing how much revenue they made on a monthly basis and then aggregated on the annual basis. And as you can see, the average partner based on this data set is generating $78,000 a year in revenue. This is real data, not fluff, not something from a guru promising to make millions of dollars. This is real, and this is in line roughly what, with what you might expect if you are average, which I'm sure the majority of the attendees today are, of course, above average. I think it's also important to unpack some of the misconceptions that you might be facing or considering or thinking right now as I'm talking. And what might those be? Well, the first might be, hey, look, I already do facials. I do not need technology. I get it. How about number two? Even if I did want technology, I just don't have enough clients to make it worth it. Or lastly, I cannot afford to buy your expensive equipment. Sound like you? Well, let's address these and see what we find. So the first, I already do facials. I don't need technology. Let's take a look, uh, look excuse me, at this video. What do you recommend? Kind of a no-brainer, according to Aaron Thompson. So the first secret to really standing out in this crowded field of beauty is to understand that technology can be a key differentiator because of the results that you can achieve. Let's listen to Miranda here and her story about how she was literally one credit card swipe away from losing her business. And by adding CryoSkin with no commitment, how that was able to actually save her business and ultimately produce these revenue figures that you're seeing on screen. So the six months are best sales that we had was 57,000 and the lowest sales that we had was 47,000. So a lot of that is the word of mouth and referrals. Um, just building that relationship with people in the community and having those people out there who are strangers for you. Miranda is now in a position where she can work on her business and not so much in it so that she's liberated to again unlock her creativity to focus on the things that really move the needle. Things like her branding. Again, differentiators that are specific to her and her customer experience and other things related. Had she not had this revenue coming through the doors, she'd still be working in the business and incapable of doing the things I just mentioned to elevate the totality of her business. Okay, so how about the second misconception here? Austin, look, even if I did want your technology, I don't have enough clients. That's fair. Well, one way you can get more clients to, again, unlock your creativity, to do all the things I just mentioned, is to increase your revenue per hour, right? To find higher ticket items, to attract higher ticket customers, so that you can, again, unlock your creativity to work on the things I mentioned. So here's a story of Kimberly Bryant. And by the way, all of these individuals that you're seeing here in these videos, the audio may not be coming through, so hopefully that is the case. If it's not... 
you can check out the full story if you go to the Body Beauty Show and listen in. But this is Kimberly Bryan. She was able to 4X her hourly revenue by adding cryoskin. Here's her story. In six months, six months. Literally, I went from some soft therapist that only made $55,000 a year to making $200,000 in six months. In six months. Yeah, you can't really hear the videos, just so you know. That's okay. That's okay. I think for the evergreen version of this, um, once this is recorded, we'll, we'll go ahead and bolt on the, uh, the audio. But uh, for the viewers and attendees today, what you saw in the closed caption there is what she is saying. But again, if you want to hear awesome. the full story, yeah, it's on the Body Beauty Show, and you can check out those episodes uh, there. Perfect. Very cool. So let's talk the last misconception, most common, and it's this. Austin, okay, I'm half convinced. I'm teetering on a yes, I'm interested. But the truth is I cannot afford your expensive equipment because I'm barely keeping the lights on as is. As we heard from Victoria, these low ticket items, waxing, et cetera, it makes it such that it's, afford or it's, it's difficult rather to justify adding the perceived expensive equipment. But there's good news. But first, let me share the story from Jill. Three employees now so busy with cryoskin, it's been challenging to offer her other services. $52,000 in the month of May, 95% of that came from cryoskin. This is a game-changing addition for Chris and Jill Johnson. But let's answer the misconception though. Austin, I cannot afford your equipment. Okay, well, the good news is we created a way for you to try the product before you commit to anything that allows you to profit first before you decide if you actually want to continue on with your cryo skin through some very creative ways to actually get your hands on the product. And we'll talk more about that here momentarily. All right, so let's recap what we've learned so far. The first secret, if you want to stand out in the crowded field of beauty, is number one, you have to be daring enough to differentiate yourself from the 7,000 med spas, 81,000 massage therapists, and staggeringly, 183,000 estheticians. And the best way to do that, with technology. Number two, you've got to find ways to increase your revenue per hour. And lastly, you need to position yourself to work on the business and decouple yourself from the necessity of having to work in the day-to-day, -day, in the treatment room, 8, 10, 12, 14 hours a day. And one of the best ways to do that is, well, how? Technology. To liberate you to do things that your hands alone cannot. So here's another question for you. If all CryoSkin did was help you bring on four package sales a month, and those are $1,500 each, some folks sell 10 packs, and those are roughly double that amount. If you only sold four packages a month, would it be worth joining us? And what does that look like in terms of revenue? Well, almost $5,000 a month. In this case, roughly $4,600 additional revenue per month, which shakes out to be nearly... Well, just over $55,000 a month in revenue, which for some of you might double your revenue. So you might be thinking, well, okay, I'm interested. You've piqued my interest. I'm listening. Who does this actually work for? Well, the truth is CryoScan has worked for the new esthetician, the solo SD working in a salon suite, Phoenix salon, solo salon, uh, salon in a massage studio, what have you or an esthetician that's running a thriving, growing team in a spa-like environment. We've seen cryoskin success across the board. Okay, so let's talk about what you would get if you decided 
to explore this option or this opportunity further and what that might look like. So number one, for the partners that work with Artemis, we provide ready to use marketing resources. And that set of resources grows every single month. Some of those resources look like a bunch of webinars and marketing education. For all of our new partners, we ship devices out for subscribers for free. Training is free. Certification is free. And here's a sneak peek as to the bonus. Ordinarily, we provide a four-week try before you buy or trial period. But today, we're going to double that for the first three of you in the uh, audience today that actually sign up. And that's a value of over $3,000. We provide launch course material to help you launch your cryo skin successfully. You have the ability to join a membership that's exclusive to our Artemis partners of over 1,000 plus individuals. And ultimately, you have the ability to cancel anytime with no upfront costs. And the total value of all that today is over $32,000 in value to you. But maybe you're still not convinced, and that's fine. So I'm going to shut up and let you read some of these reviews from our partners, and then we'll continue on. Oh, no, these are too good. We got to read these aloud. I like it. Well, I'll we tell you what. I will read the highlighted sections. So from okay. Patty Reed, <laughs> we have generated so much income from our cryoskin machines. From Natalie, myself, and my clients are beyond happy with the results we are getting from the cryoskin machine. From Donna, my purchase of the cryoskin machine has been a life-changing journey that has enabled me to open my own cryo studio. And I couldn't have done it without the help and support from Artemis Distribution. That is a life-changing story from Donna. I should have her on the podcast. And then lastly, from LX Day Spa. Now, this is from 69 Reviews on Google. You can go check them out if you fancy yourself. But LX Day Spa says, Artemis makes it easy for you to incorporate CryoSkin into your current business model. I highly recommend them. Yeah, no one has a model like you. So I've heard. It's a very difficult model to pull off. You've got to get the products right. You've got to source them right. You've got to get the pricing right. Yeah. And we are taking a lot of risk because we ship these machines out in 95% of the cases without any sort of investment uh, monetarily from our partners because of our subscription model that we can talk to you more about here at the end of this uh this webinar. So again, some few or a few more success stories pulled from our various review sites. From Ashley, I made almost $300,000 since January to today. Or Elisa, it changed the body of the business because we aren't relying on just $20 services anymore. Does that sound like you? Or how about this from Trina? Your ROI on CryoSkin will easily be five times in one month. We average thirty-five dollars to $50,000 per machine. Absolutely wild. And mm. then lastly, let's look at one from Dr. Lisa. Let's go with something that provides $60,000 additional revenue without me having to put my hands on anyone. That in and of itself is amazing. Now she's referring to the Cryoskin 4.0, which has a hands-free set of static heads that allows her to uh, work with her clients in a hands-free manner. Wow. The results with Cryoskin have been amazing. Best investment so far. I don't know how long I've lived or how I've lived so long without cryoskin in my life. This is worth every penny. I feel the best I have felt in years. And these reviews go on and on and on. So now, ultimately, for those of you in the audience today, you have two choices and you are all uh, free to make up your own mind and choose as you see fits. As far as I can see, there are two options. The first is to do nothing and not take action to leverage this offer and keep doing what you're doing. Or second, you can take action today. And remember that this information alone is not going to save you. You have to take action. But before you do anything, 
I want you to pause and ask yourself some honest questions introspectively, okay? So does this sound like you? Because the truth is there are a certain set of business owners that are really not likely to see success working with Artemis. And what do they look like? Well, there's three things that they all have in common. The first is that they're not ready to take action and they're not ready to commit to their business's future. Or second, they're not going to put in the time into investing in all the setup and all the training and all the nuts and bolts that go into bolting on a new service. Or maybe lastly, they're not in a position where they even want to grow or differentiate themselves from this increasingly crowded space. But for those that are serious, motivated, and ultimately ready to take action to elevate their business, you're invited to take the next step. Now, I promise you some gifts out of the gate. So what are they? Well, there's two here. The first is everybody today is going to get a copy of this ebook that we created recently called How to Grow Your Beauty Business Through Marketing. And this book here, Recession, A Survival Guide for Beauty Entrepreneurs. And like you saw earlier, the final bonus, again, for the first three people that sign up for CryoScan is a, an extended trial period for two months to try the product before you invest into it further. And that, again, is the $3,000 value for the first three people that sign up as a result of this training today. So that concludes the actual training portion of today's webinar. Uh, but I do want to open it up for some uh, Q&A. So anyone in the audience, if you have questions on CryoScan or otherwise, you are welcome to post those in the chat. Now. Oh, we have questions and we already have one person, Shannon. She's like, I'm the first, I'm the first signing up. So where do they go? My handy Shannon. dandy link. Yeah. So I will throw gonna... up the next slide here. This is the, hey, I'm in. What do I do now? There's a lot we haven't covered, you know, the intricacies of the products, all the training locations, how long training is, uh, the costs to get the CryoSkin device, et cetera. What I will say is this, if you want to learn more and you're ready to explore this option and this opportunity further, I would challenge you to go to this website here, which I believe Maxine can drop or if she hasn't already in the chat, which is cryoskin.com forward slash intro dash webinar. Now on this page, you're going to learn a lot more about the products. You'll see videos and you'll be able to schedule a time to chat with our team about how to actually integrate this with your practice. So the next step for everyone on the webinar today and the training is to either text this number here. And that goes straight to me. If you want to talk to me or text me or call me, what have you, you can text as well, like you see here, of course, or check out that website. I would do both. <laughs> sure. we already have, I mean, Jacqueline Lewis, she goes, Jacqueline Lewis is signing up. <laughs> Diane <laughs> signing up. So we, we do have some questions. Sure. So if we want to unmute, I can unmute uh, Victoria as well on here. Um, and some of the questions are, can you do a facial uh, on a client while using 4.0? Hang on, let me find Victoria. We have a lot of people on. Let's see here. I think it may have unmuted. Okay, okay. you're good. You're good. Yay. Perfect. Perfect. Yay. <laughs> um, right now, you cannot perform the facial on the client while the 4.0 static heads are attached. Um, but that may be something in the future. I personally find that um, performing those two treatments at the exact same time um, for a brand new client probably isn't going to be the most comfortable just since the face is very sensitive and we have these static um, heads applying the cold temperature. So um, it's starting with even the 3.0 or the 4.0 and um, giving that, the, that experience separately first is a great way to start. Mm -hmm. And then Dana wants to know how long do the results last? Like what's the length of time to cycle through during a facial 30 minutes, 60 minutes? Yeah, the average treatment time we say is about 20 minutes for the facial and 28 minutes for any body treatment. Um, that 
Treatment time though can definitely be bulked out, can be used kind of a la carte as a quick kind of touch up, um, or it can be used in a full facial adding on a, uh, a mask afterwards and making sure to double cleanse and do some exfoliation pr uh, prior to the application. Um, as far as treatment frequencies too, uh, for the facial, anybody who is 45 and under, we would recommend treatments once a week, um, 45 and older or with extreme laxity, maybe sun damage, uh, we would say every about twice a week um, for the first five treatments and then kind of reassessing from there. Um, being realistic with expectations with this is extremely important to um, just ensuring that we understand that, you know, this, the benefits of a um, cryofacial you'll see for at least, you know, a week, anywhere from five to seven days, um, but continued uh, simulation of that collagen and elastin production, a single treatment is exactly that. It's a treatment, whereas a series is an actual, um, you know, that's where you start to see the, the actual change. Right, right, right. And so uh, I love that. Um, and I think it's really important to discuss the expectations, like you said, for sure. So are there two different machines or does the 4.0 do both? That's a question from Julianne. That's a great question. So the 3.0 offers both the uh, cryofacial, the slimming and the toning. The difference with the 4.0 is it does just have the static head. So you're able to place those, um, those cold application uh, paddles onto the client and then even leave the room. Um, so if you're stacking appointments, um, you absolutely can do that. Or if you're performing a separate treatment, let's say a full um, European facial on the face, they can be receiving a treatment at the same time. Okay. And then would you do that in place of the massage uh, proton of the facial? Exactly. You can okay. still perform a, um, a manual uh facial massage post uh, cryofacial, um, but it, it definitely can take that place and really save your hands. <laughs> right, right, right. Is there a, a number of suggested treatments in a series? I kind of like the, I kind of like to, don't like to answer that because you want the client to come ongoing, right? right. Where there's no end and it's just a mate, like a forever maintenance, right? Like going exactly. to the gym. So <laughs> What's your, what, what are some of the best protocols you've seen and really kind of understanding that it is going to be case by case, right? Exactly. Yes. So we still go, kind of go by that um, guideline of 45 and younger um, okay. will be once a week for the first five treatments reassess. Um, and for maintenance, we can push it out to closer to once a month. Um, then for our clients, 45 and over, we're aiming to do two per week. Um, finish at least five to 10 treatments before reassessing, and then um, push it out to once a month. Um, there is always the option to, to sort of do, let's say there's a special event um, and really uptick our, our frequency um, to boost those results. So let's say we finished a package, we're going into the maintenance phase, and then we have a wedding coming up. We'd like to do two a week um, prior to that. Uh, and of course, with no downtime too, you're not having to really um, schedule in between like, oh, if you have to go to work afterwards, there, it's not the same as um, microneedling or lasers where you're having a, a really red uh, inflamed sunburn um, kind of reaction post-treatment um, and can really even help with rosacea, um, inflammation from pustules. Um, you're, you're able to address really even beyond just the superficial wrinkles. Mm hmm. You know, I was pleasantly surprised when I got my treatment because I think I was expecting it to be extremely cold. It's really comfortable. It, it is, is. It's so comfortable. And the treatment, it, it was just really comfortable. That's all I can say. And I don't like to be cold. So I'm just one of those. So it was incredibly comfortable. And, um, and also the, the a question came up that we should probably talk about is there's no medical director that's needed. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, it is a class one device, no medical director oversight, because we are not addressing the adipose tissue the same as, let's say, um, a cool sculpting, um, where that actually kind of vacuums the tissue mm -hmm. into 
a cold applicator um, and it is not nearly as customizable um, with cryoskin. That same vasodilation and vasoconstriction uh, really helps uh, boost the skin's ability to heal itself. Um, so we, we have a much more kind of natural holistic approach, um, but with the addition of technology. I love that. Is there like an average number that you guys have seen? Um, an average number of sessions that clients will, they, that will need to do in order to see results like noticeable results? Oh, they should see immediate results um, after the first treatment. Uh, however, to sustain those uh, results and really over, we want to always um, under promise and over deliver. So we say the guidelines of about five um, and really making sure to take those before and after pictures is crucial. Uh, it's so easy to forget how we started out before we started a series. Um, so mm -hmm. it, being able to show them side by side exactly their their changes is vital. That's fantastic. All right, Shannon, she was like the first to sign up. Did you text Austin 301-228-0304? We had, I'm scrolling back here because it was really funny. They're like, I'm the second. Diane, mm -hmm. did you text Austin? Make sure you text Austin. I also dropped the link in the chat box again, so it's handy. And then Jacqueline Lewis, uh, make sure you text Austin and Chris. Um, so there's, you might have to duke it out. I know it was the top three, so we'll leave it up to Artemis. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, there we go. So uh, I'll drop the link in again. There's his number. Perfect. Any other questions? These are great questions and really incredible success stories that you displayed today. So the chances are, um, cause a lot of those success stories happen within a month. Yeah. Yeah. That's Maxine, I'm seeing a question here from Chris on, uh, how effective cryoskin is on ages 60 plus. Yep. Victoria, if you want to take that. Yeah, of course. Um, I do always, encourage our providers to ensure that we're um, accurately describing, you know, we can't, we can't reverse 60 years worth of sun damage and breakdown of collagen and elastin. And we, we of course can't also be with them 24 hours of the day to ensure that they're properly using sunscreen and protecting themselves from um, additional environmental damage. Um, however, we have seen significant results be with um, even the age group 60 plus, because we are, uh, we are addressing so many layers of the skin. So not only um, are we addressing, of course, the, the um, epidermis, but deeper down into the dermis where you can actually see the collagen and elastin uh, formation uh, have a much more significant kind of stimulation because um, there is so much more nutrient and it's that, that we call it vascular, um, gymnastics. So it's the oscillation mm -hmm. from, um, vasodilation to vasoconstriction that really, uh, it pumps the area full of nutrients. It's stimulating, mm -hmm. um, it's stimulating all of the nutrients that you receive through your blood, um, into those tissues uh, for an extended period of time. So, um, really not possible to be achieved through other modalities without being significantly more, um, invasive, um, and to, without any, uh, without incurring any sort of inflammation in the process. Um, I think the, the market has turned quite a bit, um, steering a bit away from those really extremely inflammatory type, uh, treatments just seeing how long-term damage, um, myself, I had received a, a chemical peel on myself and I'm probably a fits four, um, and did as little as like blow dry my hair and got hyperpigmentation. So, um, I think we're really starting to rethink how we consider the skin and its ability to heal itself. Um, and are seeing that not necessarily like more is not always better. It's just really, 
uh, figuring mm. out how to not cause that internal inflammation and calming it when it, wherever we can. No, I love that. I love that. It's not invasive. That's like my favorite. <laughs> Absolutely. Nobody has time to, to hide from, um, anybody anymore. You know, we all post COVID want to always be our best, um, face forward. Yes. Can you talk about any of the steps that happen? So like once you connect with the, with the, the, the people that want to take advantage of this, um, this is like an amazing offer, like two months, you could really like fill your accounts, fill the bank accounts. Um, is there, is there, um, how quickly do people like, what are, what are some of the next steps for people? I, they already know to text you. Austin, has your phone been blowing up? So I, in truth, uh, I'm a, I'm a staunch believer in no distractions when you're okay, doing okay. webinars, the phone is off. I will certainly check once we, we wrap here, uh, but Maxine, I'll, I'll take the, the puck here with the question from Kathy on cost, uh, okay. to orient everybody on what that looks like. So really when Artemis began, we set out to find the best products in the market for different indications for fat loss cellulite lymphatic drainage and acne, two other products that we didn't mention today uh, for sake of time. But we set up to find products that are best in class and have outcomes and deliver clinically validated results that are on par with devices that cost in some cases as much as $200,000, but in a much more intelligent, affordable manner, which with the potential for a recession on the horizon, uh, deploying $150,000 to buy a cool sculpting or an M sculpt or a sculpture, which we can't even buy without medical directors anyway, um, is a bit scary. So the model that we have is one in which the idea is we have entirely, entirely eliminated the risk to get your hands on cryoskin. Now, Kathy, there's a couple of different ways that you can acquire a cryoskin. You can either purchase one of them or what a majority of our partners do is they're starting out, especially estheticians that don't have uh, necessarily in every case, deep pockets, is they leverage our try before you buy monthly subscription option. And what that allows for is for roughly the cost of one package sale a month, um, you're able to get the device in your hands Training is free. Certification is free. All the marketing resources you need content-wise to start promoting this is available to you for free. You have access to the Facebook community and all the rest of it. Everything that you need, the building blocks of success, if you're willing to invest the time, because we invest the rest, we provide that if your credit's over 650 for no out-of-pocket to start, nothing, zero. And that's the ordinary offer that we have is a four-week uh, trial period where you get the device, you get to play with it, get your team in the treatment room and do free demos on each other and make sure that you love it, et cetera. And then after that, once the trial period ends, which is usually four weeks, it depends on the day of delivery, you would have a monthly subscription fee that again, roughly equates. And again, it depends on if it's the 3.0 or the 4.0, which is a bit more expensive, but it roughly equates about one package sale a month. So again, this is why we talk think one package sale a week, and then you're in the $4,600 a month profit territory. And all the while you have the ability to return it if things are not profitable, or you don't love the machine or whatever. So that's the general outline. If we, if we can coordinate a call, Kathy, with you and my team, we can see which device is going to better suit you and whether a purchase route might make sense or if the subscription route, which is the, uh, the no upfront cost for the, the credit score of 650, that might be a better option. But that's a rough idea of how the program looks. Now, in terms of next steps, here's what to expect. So we do choose our customers really carefully. And that's for one reason is that we want them to be successful. So we have a uh, process that involves a conversation with one of our reps. And that particular individual will walk you through all the details on training, which a quick Note on that is a six hour hands on training where you'll get an opportunity to play with the device, ask a bunch of questions, and have uh, all those uh, uh, lingering curiosities, let's say, answered. And then after that call, 
we would get you set up with uh, an agreement. You'd sign the agreement. You'd become an official Artemis partner. At that point, you get access to all of our marketing resources, and there's a ton inside of our treasure chest. What most people will do is, well, it'll look like this. You'll sign an agreement. You'll have roughly six, let's call it six to eight weeks as you're waiting to receive delivery. And the reason for that is in that window, you're getting trained, you're getting your pre-marketing done, you're starting to hang your posters in your space saying, hey, Cryoston coming soon, uh, and those sorts of announcements on Instagram, et cetera, et cetera. And then the machine will arrive. And that again, roughly takes six to eight weeks after you sign an agreement. So let me simplify this. The next step is either text me or call me. I will get you connected to my team for a call. Or if you're still a bit on the fence, want to see more videos of it in action, et cetera, you can check out cryoskin.com forward slash intro dash webinar. And that will have a bunch more information, links to our clinical data and all the rest of it, the podcasts. If you want to hear the stories from the individuals I showed you today and ultimately schedule a call. So then the next step is to get on a call with our team so we can explain everything and make sure that this is right for you because it's not right for everybody but it may, well, very well likely be right for you, but we'll have to decide that on a call. I love that. And I think it's, I love that, you know, I think the vetting process for both, you know, we want to make sure that it's a right fit. So I just love the way, I just love this model. It really is giving an esthetician a chance who just wants to get out from under a rock, you know, too, you know, just, it, it feels like a lifeline is thrown. So Artemis, thank you. Everyone at Artemis is wonderful. Anyone that I talk to at Artemis is fan friggin' tastic. And just, we share the same philosophy to help elevate estheticians that we want to see success. We want to see you do good. We want to see that trickle down effect where your clients fall even deeper in love with you. And, um, and yeah, so thank you so much for, for doing this. We, I didn't get a chance to do an intro on Austin, but as you can tell by his voice, uh, he is our MC at the beauty business summit this October on October 3rd and 4th. And Artemis is the biggest sponsor. They are the VIP excursion sponsor for this year's summit so we're going to have fun on the private yacht after summit partying it up and talking about all the things that we're going to do post summit once we get back home with our devices right that's right and if i do see you at the summit be forewarned i do not drink so i uh, I, I might be a bit of a bore on the party fronts but i do hope to see everyone there if you haven't uh, already been spun up on what's happening there uh, maybe maxine you can you can drop the link if uh, if you fancy but it's going to be a lot of fun and i'm very very excited to have the opportunity to be uh, in scene at the event so thank you maxine for the uh, invitation to do so oh it's going to be great is there any final questions before we wrap up or is that a wrap I'm seeing one from Chris here, Maxine, and he's asking, Maxine, what did you see with your skin? How many did you do? You know, in all fairness, I didn't do my face. And now I'm like, oh, I got to go back and do my face. So I chose a body part. So the cool thing about the crow skin is, yes, you could do face, but you could also do body parts, as you saw on the before and after. So I chose uh, the tummy area. And um, so I only did one. And I think I needed kind of like Victoria was saying, like a couple more um, to see anything, but it felt amazing. And that's why I was like, oh my God, this is not freezing cold. It's totally manageable. And, you know, I think that's important for the winter states too, as we go, when we go head into winter, you know, your clients aren't going to get cold and they're going to get results. Yeah, and Maxine, one one other observation. I didn't drop this in the slide deck because the thing was already a million slides long. But one other thing we found in our data to the uh, the distinction between body and face is that it appears to be in data from Google search trends and the represented data we see in revenue that the uh, the body and face pairing seem to be a beautiful dynamic in the sense of revenue creation because. Generally speaking, when facial treatments are high, body is low. 
And then that flips and it's roughly six months a year per where one category of treatment is really taking the limelight for revenue creation, whereas the others in a bit of a lull. So one way that you can, you know, say equalize or stabilize revenue across the year is to have offerings for both body and face. And that's a seasonal phenomenon that we observed. And again, I, I apologize for not dropping that in the slides here, but um, we already had 54 slides. So I found that interesting and wanted wow. to share that with uh, with everyone here. I think that's beautiful too, because then that's kind of cyclic and you can move with your clients. So if uh, body treatments are like hotter in the summer, like they're just going to be more, um, th that's going to be more in demand, then you have that, you can, sh you can shift. Can you also do both? Can you do face and body in the, in the same day? Victoria, want to take that? Yeah, that, uh, the treatments can be performed on the same day, the facial and um, a body treatment. We do just want to ensure that spacing is appropriate for um, subsequent treatment. So the mm -hmm. slimming treatments are um, every two weeks. Um, and wait, Austin, did I switch those? It's every three weeks or, I'm sorry, every, uh, once a week for toning, every two weeks for slimming. There we go. <laughs> and um, for our facial modalities, 45 plus, that's going to be twice a week, um, under 45 once a week. So um, though it is beneficial to perform those at the same time, just be aware that the spacing is slightly different for them. Mm -hmm. So um, just kind of uh, scheduling wise, it can get a, a little bit tricky, but um, you can always complete, let's say a series on the face and then, um, couple that with uh, the body treatments, but um, just adjust accordingly. Mm -hmm. And then we have another a question here. Do you recommend using the device with microcurrent? I do. I think that those can pair very nicely. However, we don't want to perform them on the same day. Um, we do want to ensure that those are separate and that we are actually trying them out separately. Um, one of the tricky kind of murky waters that we get into is when we start coupling too many treatments together, should there be um, some sort of uh, unfavorable kind of uh, reaction, we can't quite pinpoint which it was. So we want to ensure that we're, we're trying those out separately on the client. Um, and if we, uh, in, in using the appropriate spacing between treatments. I love that. And you said something earlier, Victoria, you know, less is more. So we kind of go down this rabbit hole as an esthetician, like, can we mark a needle and dermaplane and throw a chemical peel? And what can, you know, can we do it all? So I love that less is more and maybe spacing those out. I love it. Exactly. Especially when it comes to um, modalities like mm -hmm. uh, micro microneedling, where we are creating a micropuncture or a micro, um, it essentially is stimulating that that uh, immune or that healing response. Um, we don't necessarily want to reverse it by using something like cryoskin. So uh, it's keeping those, those treatments uh, separated, but still working together, if that makes sense, kind of alternating those back and forth. I love it. That is fantastic. Well, I've dropped two important links for you to save in your browser or on your phone for later, later, and that is the BD Business Summit link and also the cryoskin.com forward slash intro dash webinar to learn more, unless you have already texted Austin and his phone um, it has is, is blown up. Thank you, David. David, David's given us a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David. Yay. Yay. Well, Maxine, I, I guess I can close out the show. We're getting uh, close to being out of time and I want to be respectful okay. of everyone's calendars. Yep. So I will say this in closing, you should all be aware that, well, this is assuming that you are a, a fan of Dostoevsky, the Russian literary hero, <laughs> let's say, and his quote, which is beauty will save the world. So I want you all to know today that whether you know it or not, you are heroes helping people live richer, higher quality, better, more fabulous lives as they navigate the tumultuous world and their skin. You are heroes and we appreciate all of you. 
I, oh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for joining in. Also, Victoria, you're a wealth of knowledge. Yeah, you're so welcome. Thank you so much. All right. We'll send the replay out within 24 hours. Thank you so much. All right, everyone, take care. And uh, we hope to see you at the summit. See you at summit. Okay.